Hi my loves, so today I am going to be sharing with you my blonde hair routine. I get a whole hell of a lot of questions about how I get my hair to be this blonde and not brassy. I recently did a hair care routine about how I kind of keep my hair healthy and in that video I did share with you guys and I've talked about it in quite a few of my other videos that naturally I do have red hair and I do highlight it light blonde. Now I have like a whole lot of highlights so my hair does come out this very light blonde color. I get so 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 many questions about how I keep my hair not brassy and kind of this nice blonde shade. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I do that. I recently just did my actual natural hair here and my extensions actually really need to be toned. These are my Bellamy Lily Hair Extensions in the shade Ash Blonde. They used to match my hair absolutely perfectly, but since I have toned my hair a little bit, a lot of you said it was looking really, really nice and asked me what I did. I did tone my hair a little bit, so now it is a little bit more of like a whiter blonde rather than a yellowy like blonde and I use these Nassant toning shampoo and treatment to do that. So I'm going to show you guys today how I use these two on my extensions to tone them because I get so many questions about that as well. I love my Bellamy extensions. They're amazing. The best extensions I've ever used literally ever and I want to continue using them but as you can tell, I don't know if you can tell in the lighting, but they are a little bit more of a golden tone than my natural hair up here now since I did tone it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys on my hair extensions how I tone them uh, so I can kind of answer both questions about how I tone my hair extensions and um, how I kind of keep my hair this blonde. So if you guys want to see how I do that in my blonde routine, then please just keep watching. Okay, so I have laid all of my hair extensions out flat here, and I've laid them in order of smallest piece to biggest piece. And I'm just going to go ahead and take them and tie them with a hair tie just so they are all tied together. Then I'm going to go ahead and brush through them just to get any knots out and so they are all nice and smooth. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some lukewarm water. You don't want it to be too hot and definitely not too cold. And I'm just going to put the extensions underneath there and get them all wet and uh, damp for us to go ahead and apply the shampoo. Then using the Nassant Toning Shampoo, I'm going to go ahead and use a generous amount of that. It is a purple shampoo and I'm going to evenly distribute that all over the hair. You want to be very, very careful that you do evenly distribute this through all of the hair. So you really, really, really got to work it into the hair and make sure that there is no piece that's left without getting some of that purple shampoo on it because any of those pieces that do not get it will not be toned. So you do want the color to be even, obviously. So just really make sure that you work it through the hair. Then I'm going to let that sit on the hair for five minutes. So I'm just setting a timer for five minutes. Then once the five minutes is up, we're gonna go ahead and rinse it out again using lukewarm water. It is very, very, very important that you do thoroughly rinse it out. You don't want any of the shampoo left over. Then I'm gonna go in with the Nissant Toning Treatment. And again, using a generous portion of this, and I'm going to work that all throughout the hair. Again, really being sure that I am evenly distributing distributing this throughout my hair and that there is no piece left without this on it. This again is very, very purple, so this really is gonna help to tone the extensions and get out any brassy tones that they may have. Then once I have evenly distributed throughout all of the hair, you're gonna go ahead and just let it sit on the hair. You can leave it for five to 10 minutes. I like to only do five just so I can check on the color. Then after five minutes, the color looked good to me, so I'm gonna go ahead with the lukewarm water and rinse that all out. Again, it is super, super important that you do get all of the treatment out of the hair and that none of it is left in the hair. Then this last step, I'm gonna be using this Pantene 2-in-1 mm -hmm. shampoo and conditioner and just lathering up the extensions to make sure that I got all of that shampoo and treatment out of the extensions and also to condition the extensions. So I will normally work this through the extensions for about five minutes just to make sure that everything is out of them and that they are properly conditioned so they're not all you know, dry and nasty, which is what we don't want. So after I've done that for about five minutes, I will go ahead one last time and rinse that all out. Then once it is all rinsed, I'm gonna go ahead and try and squeeze out any excess water just so the drying time for the extensions is not super long so they are not like completely doused in water. So I'm just squeezing out any excess that I can get out of them. Then I'm going to go ahead and separate them so I have to take the little ponytail holder off there so I can get them all separate so they can dry. 
and then each piece I will pick up and individually brush them out. And then once they are all brushed and all tangles are gone, I'm just gonna go ahead and set them on an area to dry. Here I just put down a towel and I'm just gonna set each piece to dry there. Normally I'll just leave it overnight. And then in the morning you have beautifully toned hair extensions. I hope that this video helped you guys and answered your questions. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video.